Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. I hope you've all been doing really well. Welcome to part three of this mini decluttering series as a minimalist through our family home. For those of you who have not yet seen any of my other videos, especially the first two videos of this series, please go and check out my channel and um, you'll see other minimalist content as well. I, I haven't actually worked out how to add the recommended video because I film edit and upload my videos via my phone so I'm not quite sure if I can add those details to it just yet so in the meantime please check out my channel if you'd like to see more like this video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos please I would really appreciate it so today we're going to be going through the lounge room this video should be relatively much shorter than the other videos because there's not really that much to see a very very quick background this is a communal space. It used to be my workspace when we were running family daycare. Um, so this space really has become kind of hangout. Um, my daughter tends to use it a lot more because it's under the fan, there's space and she can do crafts and things at the table. You'll see what I'm talking about. Originally, I think previous owners of this house might have used this area as a dining area and that their lounge room per perhaps could have been used uh, this the room that my husband Kyle will use for their teaching and music room I'm just not going to be showing you down there because it's mainly the kids area anyway this room as I said is a communal a space it is a space usually where my daughter will go and draw and do her own thing or maybe do some schoolwork because we do homeschool and stuff like that it is also a space where if we do have friends we don't entertain very often we have a couple of friends um, who are close they come over and we kind of just sort of hang out once a month you know, we parallel play, you know, like uh, my friend will bring her laptop over and she'll usually like to play Stardew Valley and, and her partner will do some kind of crafts and I'll do crafts and my husband will do some kind of game thing. So yeah, it's just like a, you know, an old school kind of just chill, doing nothing but kind of together sort of thing. It's just a really good space for that. So I'm going to turn this camera around, sorry, this phone around and I'm going to show you through um, what I'm looking at. And then we'll go through and have a look and see if there's anything that um, I wanted to clutter. Okay, so this is the space that I'm going to be showing you through today. We have a little bit of decoration through here. I've actually got our pet snails over here. We have at the back here, we've got four guinea pigs. These are our two boys. Rizzo and Gordon and the girls are in another space sugar and caramel and this is an air dryer that I usually tend to like to put my uniform up there so you know I don't have to put it into a dryer or whatever this table I've had for a long time and I ended up using it for when we were doing daycare however we don't we don't need it really and this is what we're looking at this is towards the kitchen here this is some st uh, sp stuff here that I want to uh, pass on, but we'll go through that soon. This is the lounge room, and I realize that this is upside down. That's okay. This lounge is pretty old now. It's about, I don't know, three years. It's gotten stained a fair bit over the last three years. It's what happens when you have young kids. Personally, I would love to get rid of this lounge. I really, really do. This is sort of one of those things that are really bulky and we need to have the vehicles and stuff to be able to take it to where it needs to go. Um, but in the meantime, I tend to just use my old cot sheets that I use for daycare and we cover the, the uh, cushions up just so it looks a little bit more tidier. Old coffee table that was given to us. This is the table that Claire uses the most. As you can see, you know, run family daycare and marks and things do get on this eventually I would like to sand this and then um, add a fresh new coat of I don't know lacquer or whatever it is it's a very heavy bulky table but it's also quite nice I really like it I would rather keep this a little bit longer sand it down and then see how we go with it uh, if eventually I felt that we no longer wanted to have something so heavy I would just pass it on because I know that um, someone would really appreciate it and maybe we would have something a bit lighter we have an old mattress down here this used to be our daughter's until she got a new one uh, we put this down a couple of weeks ago because when we had our friends over I said I'm going to put this mattress down which can create a more 
on the floor kind of seating arrangement. Um, this big unicorn is uh, my daughter's. This used to be for family daycare. And it's been great. It's been really, really nice. And it really makes me want to go and have something like this a little bit more regularly. Like once we get rid of this, I would love to have some kind of, you know, like floor seating rather than having a lounge. Uh, this mattress is quite old though. So um, the springs have gone a bit funny on it now, but it will do for now. It's serving a purpose and it's just got like a fitted sheet over it, like a large fitted sheet. Again, this is sort of a space where my daughter likes to hang out and, and play and draw or whatever. Yeah, I love being on the floor. It's, it's really good. So down here is a shelf. There's only got, oh, I just realized that there's a little bit of lettuce down here from when my daughter had the guinea pigs out. These are actually my books. I had them for daycare. Gandhi, Bowie, Audrey Hepburn. Um, I haven't had the heart to get rid of them yet. I really love them. Something that my daughter made. Um, table. I love this rug. I'm not getting rid of it. I just love it. Got our robot vacuum down there. We've got a couple of plants, some speakers, flowers, some candles, decorations up the top here that I will keep up there. I've got a basket that's currently just has some paper dragons here. Lego. Nothing in there. Nothing there. And some Jenga blocks. Like they are the like the cheap version of Jenga blocks and a couple of animal toys and stuff that my daughter still likes playing with and um Sometimes, you know, we build things and do other things. Or if we do have other friends come over who have children, they usually like to build stuff in there as well. So that's it for this space. Nothing much, as I said. Now, this is our small Christmas tree. Um, we don't actually celebrate Christmas anymore. We're doing Yule next month. I'm really excited in June. Um, we've chosen not to celebrate um, Christmas and Easter. We don't really have any connection to the uh, Christian connections. We would much rather, like no offence to anybody, um, it's just our personal feelings. I feel more connected with celebrating the seasonal changes throughout you know, life and earth um, and nature. So that's what we're doing. I'm keeping it there at the moment. This was given to us. This is a big chest of drawers. I'm really puffed out because my asthma has been playing up this last couple of weeks. This is a painting, um, my hand sewed this little, it's meant to be like Sad Kermit, I made him myself. Um, this is my daughter's, the Queer Chameleon book, she loves that, we've got a couple of clays, oh we've got some Ventolin up there, we've got some Halloween decorations there, I've got a few things up here. Other decorations, seasonal decorations, a box full of, uh, I can't remember what's in there, so I'll have to have a look. Homeschool stuff, some more homeschool stuff, uh, our ring for the switch, and then this is just a few framed things that um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. And then I have some stuff over here that I will go through and figure out what I am going to be giving for work. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm going to go around and see what I can declutter or organize at least. And um, I'll come back with you and show you some of the things that I will be decluttering today. So during the decluttering process, I have decided to rearrange the room to open up the space a little bit more. And I'm actually really happy. We've had this set up quite a few times over almost four years that we've lived here and yeah so we've got the same area here and what i've actually decided is i'm going to actually give this away or give it to a charity or somewhere I don't really know i will probably have to put it in the garage uh at another time um probably tomorrow 
because it's heavy and I need Kyle to be here because Kyle's working at the moment. We're going to leave the big chest of drawers over there. I've just had the vacuum cleaner on so the Christmas tree is also used as sort of like a block through there because I don't want it to go through there. Brought the lounge over here, moved the shelving that had the books here. Uh, coffee tables here and then I've moved this table over here to put the small TV on as just a side table really to be honest because that's pretty much all we were using this for because I'm not doing family daycare anymore I didn't need all these shelves these are all empty the blocks that were here and the Lego have now gone into my old work cupboard which is a storage cupboard which will be be in my next week's video and over here other things that I'm going to be decluttering except for the coffee table so let's have a look in in this pile I'm going to get rid of this old table this was given to me when I was doing family daycare so that can go on this is some of the things that I had in last week's video I forgot to take it to work this week so I will take it to work and see if anybody wants that uh, I have a pile of stuff again this was all the stuff from last week's video which I forgot to take to work so that'll go I'm going to these are all sort of like broken and stuff so I'm going to throw that out it's just posters this old basket well actually no it's not an old basket it's quite a new basket I'm gonna ask if some people want this I've got a couple of friends in mind and I'm also going to be getting rid of some of these seasonal decorations that I don't need this one uh, this one because I would personally like to go with something more natural rather than plastic um, some old shelves this is a little craft bottle that I know someone who would want it this was also given to me this is this candle has run out um, but I no longer need this so I'll probably pass it on to a friend uh, this is one of those not a Grimm's rainbow, but the Kmart version. I'm going to see if anyone at work wants that, as well as this basket. So, again, from today's video, it's just been these things here. So, not a lot needed to go, because I didn't really have a lot here. Some of the decorations that I do have here, I have chosen to keep. So, I think these were from my birthday back in February and because they're Australian natives they just dry really nicely. I uh, kept the mattress here as a bit of a cozy nook. Just got the Robo vacuum charged up there at the moment, the the point. So I'm planning on having like a little power board behind here so that it can be connected there. So I'm just going to leave the TV there for now. And um, yeah, that's what all that looks there. I think it looks really nice. It's nice and clear now. Eventually, uh, by tomorrow, this will be in the garage waiting to go to a new home, hopefully. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, please stay tuned for next week's video where I'm going to be going into my old work storage cupboard. That really needs uh, some decluttering because there's just stuff there from when I was doing family daycare. So that's going to be really satisfying for me going through that and um yes yeah. so until next time take care of yourselves and your loved ones and i will see you next week bye